Hey, Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com and with the help of my GoPro camera, I'm going to show you how I cut reading glasses for your Ray-Ban. This is the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer, color 902, dark tortoise, size 52. I'm going to take it out of the box. Open up, you got the brown Ray-Ban case, you got the Ray-Ban cloth, and of course the dark tortoise New Wayfarers with a plastic sleeve that Ray-Ban sends to me. If Ray-Ban thinks it's a good idea to put one on there, I'm going to put a second one on this side, just when I ship to you. And of course, your email name is ACDRDDGB. These are going to be your plus 175 reading glasses. Take out the original G15 lenses. I'm going to put your Italian frame into my Italian Santinelli LE1000 patternless edger. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everybody loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality, you buy the frame and you get free prescription lenses in them. 99% of all prescriptions are free. If you have a really high, strong prescription, you just pay my cost, and that's it. So it has finished tracing your right lens. Now it's tracing the left. I'm going to type in, pull up the shape onto the computer, put in your pupillary distance, this is a polycarbonate lens being cut for a Xyle frame. Xyle is just an old school name for, for plastic. This is a plus 175 aspheric lens, polycarbonate. This lens is virtually unbreakable. It's bulletproof up to 22 caliber and has both UVA -A and UVB protection. I'm finding the optical center of the lens. I'm going to put a big red dot there and mark that for right. Let's do the same thing for the left. Find the optical center of the lens. Let me check one thing. There we go. That's why. Find that optical center here in my Marco 101 lensometer. Dot that up, and that's marked left. So I need to put a block on here, which will hold it into place while it's cutting. So I'm going to use my little double-sided adhesive sticker here. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick it against the block, pull off this side, and then stick it down in your lens. Once I find the optical center, it's like the crosshairs of a scope. Get that lined up perfectly. Now let's do your left lens. Get that lined up perfectly. We're good to go. Now I'm going to put your lens into my Santinelli edger. The LMU is going to come down and trace the shape of your of the frame onto the right lens to make sure this is large enough to cut out, and it will. Or I'm in trouble. Nah, we're good. It's tracing the concave side of the lens, then it's going to come over measuring the thickness of the lens between the two calipers, and then trace the convex side of the lens away from your face. It's now tracing the concave, which is closest to your eyelashes. The actual cutting wheel is down here on the bottom. It's this wheel on the left, the lighter color of the three. It's like a heavy grit sandpaper that's going to grind away all the polycarbonate material, this wheel in the center with that channel. It's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I will have to close the door as this is cutting, just so I can continue to speak over the top of it. I am a little under the weather, I apologize, so I'm drinking hot cocoa. You, Mr. ACDRDDGB out of Florida. I've had two ice storms in seven days here in North Carolina where I went without power for three or four of those days. The most recent ice storm, we did not lose power. Fortunately. If you notice, it's still completely flat, flat all the way around. It's now going to put the bevel onto the lens. Felt like I was in the Boy Scouts sleeping in my house when it was 40 some degrees. I haven't done that since I was a kid. Builds character, I tell you. One thing I did want to mention, even though these are so lightweight, especially once you take out the heavy glass lenses, and these are glass lenses. When you take out the heavy lenses, this is so much lighter. This is the frame I wear. I'm wearing in color 6053, which is the blue crystal, because I'm wearing blue with white pinstripes today. But I can pop my unbreakable lens out of my frame and put it into yours. In fact, that's what I do every day. I have one set of prescription lenses, but I have this frame in 11 colors now. 
Of course, every case comes with a Ray-Ban cloth. I'm going to throw in one of my own as well with instructions on how to care for it. But should you need any adjustments, 99% of all optical shops do free adjustments. So if it's a little loose or a little tight or if it's crooked on one side, just stop by your local place and tell them it only takes about 30 seconds to adjust this frame. So I've taken your lens out. It's the final shape. It still has some rough edges on there, so I'm going to go to my hand stone, which is completely flat. I can put my hand on it while it's cutting or while it's spinning. And I'm going to go around and put what's known as the safety bevel onto the lens. You still see some of this optical sawdust. The technical term for that is schwarf. I'm using my thumbnail to scrape away the schwarf. You can see my V-shaped bevel I have in my thumbnail from doing that. Once I have it all off of the lens and onto the counter, I wipe it onto the floor. Now let's make sure this lens works. Fits. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner with my thumbs. I press down at the nose and it snaps right in perfectly. So let's cut your left lens. I'm going to put that in there. Flip that over to left and hit start. That's the start button. That's the close the chest. See what I did? All right. Now let's try and hit start. So I'm done with this block. Of course, people like to watch this tray. So I'm just going to take this block off real quick. Take off this double-sided sticky pad. Dry the lens. And we'll be ready to go soon. So if you notice, these lenses are very flat. They're aspheric lenses. A spherical lens is very round. It bulges. gives you that fishbowl look like cheap lenses do. This is spherical. It's very flat. Much better cosmetic appearance in the frame. It does not bulge outward. Of course, your lenses are virtually unbreakable, bulletproof up to 22 caliber, and has both UVA and UVB protection. We know what the sun's harmful rays can do to your skin. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. Don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. If you notice, it's still completely flat all the way around your lens. In just a moment, it'll go and put the bevel onto the edge of the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. It's gonna go right down into that channel. So it's now cutting a knife-like edge. <coughs> this whole process takes about 15 minutes. It's now 8.46, Wednesday, March 19th, 49 degrees in my hometown of Durham, North Carolina. Now that we're warming up after the ice storm, the most recent ice storm. I wish we just got snow. People up north get snow, we get ice. Take it out of the chuck, dry the lens off so it's not slippery. I'm going to go ahead and put the safety bevel onto the, the edge of the lens. Use my occupational thumbnail that my friends call it because I have that V-shaped bevel. Of course, once I get it all off the lens, I drop it onto the counter. And then once it's on the counter, I wipe it on the floor. This is the part where I like to remind kids that, hey, I went to school for years to learn how to wipe stuff on the floor. Don't expect for you to be able to do it as well as me on day one. So I tuck it in at the outside corner using my thumbnails. I snap the lens in there. I'm going to take this block off. I'm going to hold up. Let me dry this some more. Now I'm going to hold up, I'll tell you what, the Ray-Ban case. Just so you can see those red dots. I'm going to hold up my PD stick and show you that it's 62 millimeters. So we know it's made well. I'm going to use my optical grade acetone to remove the red dots. 
put a little bit in my hot cocoa, although it's almost cold cocoa at this point. And one last thing I want to do before I ship to you is get everything in standard alignment. Means that it has a three point stance while it's sitting on the table. The three points, one, two, and the bottom of the frame makes three. I set it down, I put my thumbs down on it, there is no wobble. I flip it over, check the same thing. I overlap each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and the same amount of tension on both sides. I'm going to put the plastic sleeve back on for shipping. Let me get my second one, pull it out of my bag, put that one on there. I'm just about to get everything wrapped up back into your case. And Mr. ACDRDDGB out of Florida, I hope you've enjoyed watching your glasses being made. How's that for special effects, watching that in the background? If anyone has any questions, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or just hit the contact button on the website and I'll respond to you very quickly. And hopefully you've got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.